Boots Riley talks new Prime video series, I'm a Virgo, about a 13-foot-tall man living in Oakland. Riley also discusses the practical effects used to bring his 13-foot protagonist to the screen and some of the cameos fans can expect to see. In 2020, Prime Video picked up I'm a Virgo. A new, absurdist, fantastical ride, and satirical series from Sorry to Bother You director Boots Riley, starring Emmy Award winner Jarrell Jerome, when they see us, as a 13-foot-tall man. Living in Oakland, California, the seven-episode series details are still being kept close to Riley's chest. He isn't imparting too much of the plot, but he does share with us some of what has gone into the making of the show. While at the Sundance Film Festival, Boots Riley visited the Collider Studio presented by Saratoga Springwater in Park City, and spoke with editor-in-chief Steve Weintraub, about I'm a Virgo ahead of its world premiere at South by Southwest. He kept the series explanation vague, but was forthcoming about the amazing talent attached to the project, particularly with Jerome's performance. In addition to the Moonlight star, I'm a Virgo will feature an ensemble cast that includes Mike Epps, Carmen Ajogo, Walton Goggins, Cara Young, Brett Gray, and more. During his interview, Riley spoke about Tune Yards and his band, The Coup, who provide the score and soundtrack to I'm a Virgo. He also discusses what he called his cinematic album, that will add three more features to the director's filmography, future cameos with Lakeith Stanfield and Elijah Wood, and talks about the use of practical effects versus CGI when filming his 13-foot protagonist, and how that decision has affected the storyboarding of this carefully crafted series. For all the details on I'm a Virgo, you can watch the interview in the player above, or read the full transcript below. Collider. I'm here with Boots Riley who has an upcoming Prime Video series that is going to be coming out. I actually don't know when it's coming out. When is it coming out? You can't say. Boots Riley. Shakes head. But, we are, premiering it at a different festival, South by Southwest. So you'll start hearing people's, reactions to that then. I have a ton of questions about this series, but for people that don't know, your work, and you have done a lot of work in your career, where do you want people starting? Do you want them to start with the feature you made? Riley, I think that's a good entry point, is, the feature, and then they can go listen to an album called Pick a Bigger Weapon. They can then go to an album called Genocide and Juice. You know, there's a lot. That's why I made the movie. That's a thing you can sit down and watch. And also, we did the soundtrack to it too. Tune Yards did the score, but the coup did the soundtrack. Tune Yards is doing the score to my TV show, as well. Let's jump into it. It's called I'm a Virgo, and how do you describe it? Riley. So it's an absurdist, fantastical ride with a 13-foot-tall black man who lives in Oakland, California. It's called I'm a Virgo. That's what's important to him about himself. You see a giant black man walking down the street, to a lot of people, that's not important to them, the fact that he's a Virgo, but that's what's important to him. Gerald Jerome does an amazing job, and people are going to be looking at him with different eyes after this one. We've got, also, Walton Goggins, Mike Epps, Carmen, a Jogo, and some other folks that people will see as discoveries, Cara Young, Brett Gray, which a lot of people under the age of 20 won't think is a discovery, but a lot of people 
They're all doing amazing jobs. Then we even have a lot of really cool cameos from Kendrick Sampson, Elijah Wood, Lakeith, Stanfield. I mean, it's just packed full of a lot of cool shit. I could keep going. I'm going to forget people. I would imagine after sorry to bother you that a lot of people were calling or wanted meetings with you to discuss what do you want to do next. So, what was it about this story that said, this is what I want to do next? Riley, I had this idea, and three other movies and they're all going, this is just the one that's coming out first. A lot of times you'll write stuff and it's really about things lining up in time. So, basically, I'm making what I'm calling a cinematic album of which Sorry to Bother You is the first single, and season one of I'm a Virgo is the second one, and then my other three movies go into that. So, it's all part of a larger plan. It's not one universe, these movies, but it's kind of a weird view from my point of the world. Making a feature is a lot different than making a television series. So, did you enjoy the experience of making TV in a way that's like, wow, I really want to do more TV now that I've experienced that, because it's completely different. Riley, it's very different. It's very different. I think I'm a fan of stories that end. So TV is not necessarily what I want to stay in. But the way that we're doing this is something that is different than that. I really don't like the shows where they just keep you hooked and keep you going just to keep you going. After a while you feel like, oh, you really don't care what you're saying as long as I watch the next time. As a viewer, I feel insulted by that and so I don't want to make that kind of stuff. I think with a TV show there's a lot more bureaucracy to the process that I don't get in feature films. You know, it's a different animal. I don't think it has to be, but that's just the way it's set up. Meaning, like, you think you'll be filming your next movie this year? Riley? Oh yeah, yeah, but if I get in, front of it. I mess up the shot. You know what? I said it wrong. But what I'm saying is, I'm looking forward to I'm a Virgo, and I'm also looking forward to what you're going to do. Next. Riley, we will be shooting other stuff this year. Listen man, I cannot wait to see it. Sincerely, and I hope to be at South by Southwest to be able to see it when it plays there. Riley, I'll tell you. This, whatever you think it is, it's a little bit crazier than that. Now imagine that, then this. Just a tiny bit crazier than that. Special thanks to our 2023 partners at Sundance, including presenting partner Saratoga Springwater and supporting partners Marble Toronto, EMFACE, Somsation, Hendrix, 